Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I just now read a very interesting article in the AARP magazine for November, December 2016. Uh, the article is called Part 3, The Happiness Cure for Aging. Boost Your Limbic Brain. So it turns out from the article that there are three parts of the brain. One has to do with thinking, language, and, and remembering and using words like that. And one has to do with threat energy, which is an issue that's been coming up a lot lately on the clear plane. It has, it's called the reptilian brain, and it has to do with fear and aggression. And that might be, I'll bet, territorial or sexual aggression. That's called the reptilian brain. So we have the thinking brain, the reptilian brain, and then this other one called the limbic brain. Um, and that one has to do with emotions. And this is the one that the light workers are talking about, this part of the brain. Um, it has to do with feelings of joy, for instance. Here it says, the limbic brain has to do with certain mammalian behaviors that helped us to, to, to excel in the physical world and to, like populate it. Um, it says it has to do with play. You know, play is like exploration. And um, joy, and joy is definitely a, a quality of the awakening. And love, also a quality of the awakening. And and desire to get out there and, and find new things, play, is also. So, so it's the limbic brain that is probably changing the most um, as the awakening process unfolds. So my next question would be, where is the limbic brain? So I'm going to see if I can find uh, a diagram of that. So I took a look at a picture. I found a picture, and it goes a little like this. The thinking brain, apparently, is the neocortex, and that is most of the area of the brain, most of the area. Uh, then there are the reptilian uh, brain and the limbic system, just like it says in the article. The reptilian brain is like a small area, but tiny, really, that is in the very back of the head, right around where the, the bump, down is there and back, small area. And the, the limbic system, believe it or not, is at the very center of the head in the area uh, where the pituitary and pineal gland are located. So, so when uh, the yogis and light workers advise us to concentrate on the center of our head and to meditate on the third eye point in the central point of the two funnels, then they are advising us to move from threat energy to love and light and joy and that peaceful feeling of the limbic system to the, to the freedom to explore new possibilities, you know, like they say in Star Trek, you know, to move into those areas that are specifically mammalian in the brain and that are... Uh, that are more um, that are less to do with survival and more to do with the uh, attributes of our star brothers and sisters. So um, you know this is incredible, interesting stuff because because the physical brain bears out uh, offers it bears out the like the metaphysical thoughts that are going on with regard to to um, emotions the, by concentrating in the center of all that is, the center of the brain, this vast mechanism here, we can come to the, to, 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 the, to the crux of the issue, what it is we need to do in order to arise, in order to awaken. We need to stay centered in our brains, at the very center of our brains. So, so you may ask, how will we do this? Well, how I do it is I just visualize. I use the awesome tool of visualization. 
to achieve these ends. I, I visualize that spot in the middle of my head. So, and what that is, is it's like places like a, a laser beam of photonic energy right in the middle there and enhances the energy of that area. So, so now all these issues of threat energy and so forth, I, 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 you know, it's an endless list of feral aggression, feral territorial aggression, sexual aggression, desire to murder, desire to rape, desire to do all kinds of awful things that society doesn't like. It's, it's all the fault of this reptilian brain in the very back at the bottom of our heads. So, so, so when that comes up, I'm thinking the thing to do would be to visualize the center of the head, not to like use a neocortex to talk to the threat energy. You know, because that reinforces the two other areas of the brain that can't solve the problem, but rather simply to take the power of visualization, the immensely powerful tool of, of, of projection, of awareness, and place it on the very center of the head and see what happens. The only other thing I have to say about that is that my experiments of spinning a mantra in that area in the last few days have been stellar, absolutely terrific. I'm using the mantra, which you may have guessed, Gobinde Mukundi, Udare Apare Hari and Karing Niname Akame. I like that mantra because because it's very graceful and beautiful and extremely elevated. So um, so this is working for me, you know, but in your particular situation, you have to choose something that you really like the sound of, something that you like the intention of, and something that won't snag other people into these other areas of the brain. Like, for instance, I used to use a chant, OM, but there are a number of spiritual groups that use this chant, and they all feel that it's the property of their particular spiritual group. Well, this is odd because OM is the, is the chant for the infinite creator. So it's like, I own the infinite creator. This, this is copyright my group, you know. But rather than fight this with my neocortex, I just decided to, you know, play around and pick a different mantra. So far, no objections from the people that use it. They're pretty laid back about it. So that's a really good thing. And uh, so you may have these same troubles of like, group conflicts over the sacred nod, the sacred sound of the names of God, but there will be a way because as many words as there are in the universe, there are that many names of God because he is all of them. So one of them will work for you, I, I, I hope and pray. And I hope this works for me. <laughs> because here at the end of the year, you know, as we're getting to or on towards the winter solstice energy, it's a time of... of of bearing uh, the the many um, because of the low light, it bears all the dark darkness. So right now is the time to be doing a, a massive amount of work to eliminate each uh, like place of darkness that comes up. So these are tense times. It's not a good time to go into the flow of the darkness, but rather. It's a time to be aware of it and to move the energies back into the light, I feel. Well, y'all take care. Have safe holiday season. Drive carefully. Watch out for that eggnog. <laughs>